All right, Avath, this one is for you. This is a inequality. This is distributive uh, property inequalities. So I'm gonna do it one way. It's not the only way, but this is just the way I'm feeling like doing it today. So we are gonna distribute this time. We're gonna start there. That is the first step you are gonna wanna do because you can't combine anything inside that parentheses. So we'll next do this. So half, negative half times x is gonna be negative one half x. And then a negative half of four is gonna be negative two or just minus two. Now you have the rest of this inequality statement that we're gonna write down here. And then we're gonna combine like our, our like terms, which are these two right here, which will leave me with negative one half x. And then that's gonna be negative five right here. And then this is gonna be greater than five. So then my next step would be to get that five out of there, get away from the x by adding five to both sides. And that's gonna leave that gone completely with just the negative one half x over here greater than, and then five plus five is 10. Now, with this step, we have a fraction in front of this, which means we are multiplying, so we're gonna divide it or multiply it by its reciprocal. And because we're multiplying by a reciprocal, which is negative two, or negative two over one, we're gonna multiply it on this side also by negative two. And when you multiply or divide by a negative number, in an inequality statement. The inequality statement is going to flip the other way. And that is because of the rule of negative times a negative is positive. So it actually makes that flip. So now you're gonna have X and now it's gonna be less than, and then we just do the 10 times negative two, which is gonna be negative 20. And so that would be your finalized answer. And if you had a number line, you would have to do the number line as well. Now what I always suggest doing is making sure you do go back in and substitute your answer into the original equation and make sure, or I should say an equality statement in this case, to make sure that it actually makes sense. So a number less than negative 20, you can plug in here. So again, any number that you feel comfortable with doing, I would put it in. This I know is right because I did it, but anytime you're doing this and you're trying to figure out whether or not your answer is correct, always just put a number that would make this statement true to double check to make sure that you've done the statement correctly and plug it in where, anywhere you see X is and then solve it to see if it's accurate. If you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at You Want Algebra. These are all located in my playlist of inequalities. Don't forget, save this for later, share, like, and follow me for more.